Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm a phlebotomy instructor here at Idaho Medical Academy. Today we are going to talk about the different needle types and when we use them and what we use them for. Usually we start off with a um, evacuated tube system. This is a needle attached to a hub and it allows for multiple uh, tubes to be drawn at once. Once you insert this needle into the patient, you can then just pop tubes on and off in the order of draw. Um, after the evacuated tube system, we have what's called the hypodermic needle. Uh, so this is a needle on a syringe that can allow for manual pressure to be pulled rather than uh, vacuum tube pressure. We have different variations of that now in a butterfly uh, needle, which allows for more control. This is the green butterfly needle. Um, you can have more control by holding onto the wings, and this also acts as an evacuated tube system um, where you can place the needle into the, um, the patient, and then you can uh, pull the tubes in the order of draw. This allows for multiple tubes to be drawn at once. You can also attach a syringe onto this and pull manual pressure. There is also a blue butterfly, um, and this is uh, on a syringe that allows for manual pressure, and then you can also add it to an evacuated tube system as well. The blue butterfly would be used for um, patients who have really small veins, elderly patients, uh, pediatric patients um, with veins that are really difficult to find and to puncture. The green butterfly with the evacuated tube system would be used for someone who needs a lot of tubes drawn at once, potentially also blood cultures. Um, this would just be the easiest way to get blood cultures drawn because you can draw multiple tubes and you have um, a lot of range of motion with this needle. The hypodermic needle gives you a lot of control um, and will also be used for patients who have small, possible, possibly difficult veins, um, as well as pediatric patients. And the evacuated tube system will be used for the really large veins that are easy to locate, easy to palpate, um, and that you need a lot of samples from. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out the rest of our videos and let us know if there's anything else you want to see.